Hey everyone, welcome back to another Tech Tip, and in today's video, we're going to transfer photos from an iOS to a Windows computer via a USB cable. Check it out. All right, everybody, before we get started, we're going to want a few different things. Of course, you're going to want the iPhone or the Apple device that you're trying to transfer the pictures from and videos. Um, also, you're going to want a USB cable. In today's demonstration, we are using the USB method. There are many different ways to transfer photos and videos from the phone over to a computer via iCloud or via uh, AirDrop if you're on a Mac OS. But in today's demonstration, we're going to be using a USB cable on a Windows machine um, and going that route. So as you can see right here on the screen, I've got a live cast of the phone that we're going to be playing with today. You can see that it is live. And that is because as soon as I plug in the USB cable, there's a prompt that I don't want you guys to miss that you're going to have to click allow on in order to complete the connection to the computer itself. So again, USB cable, you're going to want to make sure that the USB cable that you have supports data and charging capabilities just because some cables do not have the ability to transfer data. So using the camera or using the cord that came with the actual device itself is going to be your best method as far as the uh, knowing which, which cable is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. There we go. Okay. So you can see right here on the screen, it does say uh, allow this device to access photos and videos. Click allow or don't allow. I'm going to click allow on the phone and that's going to complete the connection for the computer itself. So I'm going to get the phone thing off the screen here. And the next step that you're going to want to do is bring up a file explorer window. I am on Windows 10. However, these instructions are going to be very similar from Windows 8 and up. And they're going to be a little bit more different uh, if you're on Windows 7 just because they changed this PC or they changed from my computer to this PC, eight, uh, Windows 8 and forward. So uh, I'm going to click on this PC. That's going to get you into your, your basic Windows directory. And then you're going to notice over here on the right hand side, it says devices and drives. And you're going to look for the iPhone or the Apple iPhone or the Apple device listed under there. If you don't see this, it may be collapsed and you may need to uh, bring it down or expand it in order to see that device. If you still don't see it, chances are that the cable you're using may not actually support uh, the, the data transfer and it's actually not completing a connection. Try a different USB port and see if that works. So I'm going to double click into Apple iPhone. Um, most uh, Apple devices, uh, they just have internal storage. They don't support uh, SD cards. But if you do have a device that supports an SD card, you may see another option right here that allows you to click into like a SD card storage because the camera may have defaulted to putting the photos or videos into that folder. In today's demonstration, internal storage is where we're going to go. We're going to go to DCIM, which stands for digital camera image. And then 100 Apple, yours might be slightly different, but it is the same file. You can go ahead and double click on that. And that's going to reveal your files of your pictures or your videos. Now what you're going to want to do is we're going to want to transfer these over to the computer. If you have a special place that you want them, you're going to want to go in there, create uh, a folder with the date on it or the time on it, however you want to do your file structure. And you're going to want to navigate over here on the left hand side and drill down to navigate to it so you can drag and drop or right click and copy paste, however you want to do it and paste it into that directory. In this case, I'm just going to throw them in pictures and then I'll worry about a file structure later. There's a few different methods we can do this. You can left click and drag Anything in the blue box has been highlighted and selected, and then you can let go. You can copy and paste that way or drag and drop to where you want it. Uh, another method is you can left click on one, hold shift and left click on another, and it will select everything in between. Or you can click left click on one, hold control down and select individual files until you have the selected ones that you want. Once you've got the certain amount of uh, files or pictures that you're, you're going to want to transfer, you're going to just go ahead and left click and drag to where you want them. I'm just going to left click and drag them over to pictures. Otherwise you can right click and you can copy and you can go in and you can click paste. Or like I said, you can just go back in, highlight and transfer over. And again, that's going to make a copy of them. So you're going to have an original still on the device, but then you're also going to have a copy on the windows machine. And that's just a simple instructions on how to transfer your media files, pictures or videos over from an Apple, uh, an Apple, an Apple or Apple iPhone device over to a Windows machine. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that tech tip. I hope you liked the video. Leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you on the next one.